row inmates say they will be back at the governor's mansion in just a few hours. We know one person was arrested during last night's protest. News 9's Jordan Daphnis continues our live team coverage. She is at the governor's mansion this morning. Jordan. Yeah, we're seeing barricades set up in preparation for protests that we're expecting later this morning. Things are very quiet right now. People are expected to return around 8 a.m. Now they're going to be advocating for Julius Jones to be saved from execution. Last night, Oklahoma Highway Patrol troopers in tactical gear stood guard here as demonstrators rallied to support Jones. Local pastor Derek Scobie was arrested. Scobie confirmed it on Facebook saying, he was in the Oklahoma County Jail for four hours before being released. A Facebook post says he was charged with obstruction and remaining in an area after being ordered to leave. Emotions really ran high last night as supporters demanded the governor answer their calls and say they're hoping for some sort of response. It's not just a criminal justice issue, but it's a community issue. Uh, the people making the decisions are in our community. The people who are directly affected um, are, are members of our community. And just up the street, the Oklahoma Highway Patrol says it is increasing security at the state capitol because of a special session and potential protests in rallies. Now, troopers say the capitol building will be open today as normal, but we know house offices are going to be closed at noon. Live at the governor's mansion, Jordan Daphnis, Oklahoma Zone, News 9. And